And we're done with this room. That's good. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. Sure. Warning. Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Oh no. It looks like a refueling device. Uh, does this mean that I can bring my kerosene here to stay refueling? I don't know. That's a start. Let me check in here one more time. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Oh, okay, so there's another one here. It's the name of Alex Betchett. Okay, so we've already got two that we picked up as an item, and then we've got these ones, so... Again, I'm just using my phone here to just have a another reference. And then we've got Ed Fisher. Okay. Right, so I can put all of those up. So it means a little bit more running around to get. I've got to bring the x-rays down here to be able to use them. I don't think there's any more to do here, but. Let's check what this side filter business is. We haven't examined this thing yet. There are red colored slides inside. Nothing's on it. Hmm. I guess if we find some kind of projector, we'll try to use it. You'll keep it with me for now. So far, because I've burned everything I've encountered other than John, I haven't been. In uh, I haven't had to encounter anything else, but I blew his head off. I don't know if that's kind of like a pre-programmed thing so that he doesn't respawn in that room constantly. Potentially. Okay. Um, let's try and put these x-rays in order and see what that gives us. Alex Betchett, Clark Davis, so A, B, C, D at the moment. E, F, G, H. No. Part of it is glowing red. That's interesting. Damn, some some serious puzzles towards the end of this game. I'm enjoying this. So, I mean, is the guess that you have to do it according to so colon? That's a C. That's the esophagus, surely. Yeah, so C-E. 
That's the liver. I'm just double checking stuff. E C E L Cell. Okay. <laughs> cool. So the password is cell. Cool. Let's see if that works. automatically kind of put it in. I didn't have to enter anything. Yes! Okay, there we go. So I think that means everything's unlocked now, right? Cool. Yes. Very good. So I'm assuming that's where I'll probably get the the key for this bit. Not this bit. You get the idea, the doors on the other side are there. But I probably have to fight something in there, would be my guess. So I need to be careful. I think I'll throw in a save here. This is a good time to do so. I think I have got eight of them built up. I'm going to space out the saves a little more here. Okay. So I'm going to go like, <clears throat> I'm going to go for like Magnum and Grenade and all that stuff. And just kick some butt. And I'll take one of those just in case. I feel like it's more likely I'd have stuff to combine. It's more likely that I'm going to be losing inventory than gaining there. With the disc and uh, the slides and that kind of stuff. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we got here. It's another disc. Yes, that's the third one. Okay, perfect. Security protocols. Level 1. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Passage to heliport slash entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. An authorized person entering the heliport will be shot on site. Whoa. Elevator slash the elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Um, visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Basement level 3, prison slash sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as a primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special, authorizes, special authorization. Passcode output terminals use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Right, level four, regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-Virus, illegible hereafter. Uh, so basement level four contains Tyrant, which looks like the final bouse. Honestly, I'm going to use it.
Give me that. Right. Hmm. Umbrella. Bio-organic weapon official report. MA-39 Cerberus. Neptune. Hunter. Yeah, it's these guys. And Tyrant. Bio-organic weapons research group. Development staff. Wait, Wesker was one of the development staff? Is that what I just saw? I skipped it a bit quick, but I think that's what it was. And honestly, this is another thing I'm going to take a photo of here. Because he's going to ask me about it, maybe. But I've got to see that one more time. Yeah, look at those glasses slash goggles. Doesn't Wesker wear them, too? And we saw a Wesker appearing there, too. Right, so let's see this version. Official official report. Eight four six two. Hmm. There you go. That needs the photo. Again, I'm thinking back to the the room in the residence, but again, that was like that was three digits. So puzzly. Love it. Aha, laboratory key. Thank you for that. It looks like you can use it to view Gen Kenneth's film. Get away from me! No! I know! Yeesh. Yeah, bye bye, Kevin. Uh, let's use this. I swear there's a disk device there. No. What? Surely that's what it's for. There's not that many more opportunities to use this bloody thing, surely. I guess it's just a tape recorder thing. It's not a it's not a CD drive. It's a it's a tape recorder. Fine. Is there more to Kenneth's film? Let me just see it one more time. Get away from me! No! I, I, no! <laughs> yeah. Uh, F for Kevin in the chat. This room still red because of this. But again, I've just got too much shit right now. And I'm not going to take it just to clear the red. Okay. So I still have two discs that I need, but I have the key now, so hopefully that helps me get through. Okay, moving straight on here. We're really getting close, and I like the way that, sort of, for the for the final few hours, we really have got a lot more background and story and that kind of stuff. It's really ramped up. I'm surprised at how slowly it began, and how quickly, sort of, things happen at the end. I'm pretty sure this residence one is uh, the room, the one with the the passcode that I need. It might be the final thing, 
that I don't end up getting, because I've got to go back a long way now to get that shit. Uh, yeah, now I can go to these doors. Yep. That don't sound good. It's a pretty small room. Oh. Okay, hold on. Got a magnum, man. I don't care. Hmm. So we can go in here. Oh wow. Shit. That's one freaky looking thing. It looks smaller and quicker as well, but it's not coming towards me. Oh, look at that. Disgusting. You disgusting, ugly motherfucker. Yeah, it's... It's not time for fucking around, man. Oh, okay. Well, the time of that was annoying. I wasted a second shot, but it's okay. Right, the room is clear. Rust is shy, won't budge. What? What? Fine. Got to continue on this way. Another disc. Yes. Finally. Excellent. Leaves only one more. Continues along here, and then we're back. We're looping back to this bit, and this is the door that's rusted shut. Okay, fine. Right, we're back here. Lab key, no further use. Discard, thank you. And hopefully the final one is here. Ooh. This is the rusted shut one. Okay. Which way should we go? This way or... I'm going to try this one first. It's a smaller door. Oh. Nice. Good choice. Yeah, they're giving me a lot of resources here. We're really heading towards the, the final thing. Sure. Yeah, we'll have that. Yeah, look how many saves I've got. I guess maybe it's for the future, like once you're done with the story, if they still put you back in the mansion and you can kind of continue to explore. Um, having a, a lot of saves, I guess, is still cool. 
Um, I do kind of wish there was a sort button. There doesn't seem to be for it. Okay. Uh, let's grab those. Yep. Is that everything? Yeah. Let's try and get into this final room. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Mm. Usually those rooms are elevators, like the... I just want to check if it, if it is an elevator. Control panel for the elevator. Doesn't seem to be good. Okay. Just to confirm that it is this way that we need to go. Definitely a longer game than I anticipated, honestly. Uh, it feels like it's one of those rare occasions where how long to beat.com seems to be pretty, pretty far off. I could swear it was like 10 to 12 hours. I'll have to double check that. Maybe like the HD remaster is slightly different to the original or something. But I was expecting like 12 hours tops. I mean, I'm not hugely above that, but still. Okay. Good. Oh, God. Got to take that, fill it up, but then we still have more going on here. Which side is it on? Let's find out. Can't see it. Ah. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I was too busy admiring my great work. Did it die? It did, okay. The Magnum's definitely one hit kill for these guys. At this stage, I've got a bunch of shotgun shells and stuff too, so it's not the end of the world. Right, what is the deal here? It just it just goes deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, I mean, the fuel thing is further up. Should I not go and get that first before continuing here? I really don't know. But yeah, I ain't having that bullshit. Whoa. How many of these guys we got? Not enough is the answer. I'm a one-woman army. But they might just be respawning here. So maybe I should get a move on. Whoa. Shit. 
I don't want to kind of use up any more stuff. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. Okay. <clears throat> Trying to avoid stuff at the moment. There's too many of those little shits at the moment. At least we cleaned out this room. So yeah, I do need to go back up top and get the fuel. But I guess it's like a kind of a thing where if you get a game, if you get hit while you have the fuel, it's a game over. Think. So I think again this bit needs a save because this would go very wrong. All right, let's go. So now we've got to head back up. Well, not back up actually, I think it's on this floor. And get the fuel. I don't remember which door it was through, to be honest. Maybe this one? No. Not that one. It was in... Yeah, it was in one of these. So give me that warning again now. You got the fuel supply capsule. Running could result in a fatal explosion. What running? Whoa. This is gonna be tough. Again, I've been running the entire bloody game. And is anything new gonna spawn as a result? of me grabbing this, because I've cleaned out most of these areas. <laughs> okay, got to focus here. And again, this is why burning those guys was useful. The last thing you need while you're doing this is for one of to step over a zombie you killed and have them wake up or try to dodge them at all. Because, well, you literally can't really in this state. Can you imagine this room with all those little shits? You would have had to have cleared them out first. Don't really have a choice. Went the wrong way. Getting paranoid, I'm going to flick the, the, the analog stick just a tiny bit too far, right at the end. This is scarier than the zombies. All right, here we go. There we go. That worked. Um. I'm assuming I can just go through to this bit now. 